Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can easily figure out which key combinations give you what symbols on the Mac. Now if you remember back, if you ever used Mac OS 9, you'll remember that there is an application called Keycaps. And what it did was it showed you a keyboard, and whenever you pressed a modifier key, like Option or something like that, it showed you what keys or what symbols you would get when you pressed a certain key in coordination with that uh, modifier key. Now, with Mac OS X, that application is gone, but there is still a way uh, that you can figure out which key combinations are going to give you what symbols without having to download any software or anything. It's still built into the OS, it's just more hidden. So to find it, you're first going to need to go up to your Apple logo menu and click System Preferences. Now once you're in System Preferences, you can just click on the Keyboard tab. And right here, towards the bottom on the keyboard tab, inside the keyboard tab, you'll see a checkbox that says Show Keyboard and Character Viewer in Menu Bar. So if you click that, you're going to see this thing pop up in your menu bar up here. And uh, it's right here by my clock. And you get two options, Show Character Viewer or Show Keyboard Viewer. Now what you can do here is, if you click Show Character Viewer, it's going to open up this little box here. And what you'll see here is all the different characters that you can get by pressing certain combinations on your keyboard. So without having to actually press the key combination, you can get these symbols here. And then there's a button right here where you can insert them right into your document. Now while this can be handy, and there's a lot of different symbols here that you can insert, um, it's not always the easiest thing to do. It can be a little bit cumbersome and always have that window open if you're typing something up. Not probably the best option. So what you can do instead is you can click Show Keyboard Viewer and what's going to happen here is you're going to see a virtual keyboard pop up on the screen. Now what will happen with this is it's just like keycaps if you remember Mac OS 9. So once I'm on the keyboard here I can press Option and you can see right here that I have Option um, selected and it shows it. And then right here you'll see all the different things that will correspond to it. So if I press Option Q, I will get that little symbol there. I'm not actually quite sure what that's called. Um, so you can see how that works. And also with Option Shift, you'll see more. So Option Shift K, you get an Apple logo. Just kind of uh, interesting things. And this makes it a little bit easier if you know you have a certain symbol that you often use. You can just see what the combination is for it here, and then you can memorize what you have to press for that without having to go through the hassle of looking at that character viewer and inserting characters through there. Now I have text edit open here, and of course you can type with this virtual keyboard. You can see I'm typing here. Um, and you can insert your symbols this way too, so copyright, all different things like that. Um, but you know, it's probably easier once you realize what combinations you want just to be able to type them in on your own. So now I know that Option Shift K is an Apple logo and if I often use that symbol, now I know how to get it. So it's an easy way to show you what symbols you're going to get with different things and without you know guessing, uh, what I did before I knew about this is that I just held down Option and I, I pressed different keys until I found the symbol I wanted, but this is a lot easier way to figure that out. And it's just a handy tip. It's hidden in the system, so I'm guessing a lot of people didn't know about this. And if you work with characters a lot, this can really save you some time. So I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.